if you didn't watch my last video um, on the Rick Barry card from the 1970-71 ABA All-Star Picture Pack, you're really going to want to watch that one. We discussed a lot of the background information about this particular set. We talked about how the basketball, quote, cards are not really cards. They're just five by seven pieces of paper. Uh, we talked about the back being blank. Um, you saw in that last video with Rick Barry that I had the card against this plain computer paper. Just so you can see that there is some character, some color to these cards, even though they are sheets of paper. We talked about how the design is very simple. Team name, player name, nice black and white image. And we also discussed, and it's why I chose the Rick Barry card to introduce this set, that the Rick Barry is the highlight. Um, price guides placed it three times more valuable than commons. But before I left, leave this set, I want to talk about this next card in the set, John Brisker. So again, this is the 1970-71 ABA All-Star 5x7 Picture Pack. This is uh, what some consider a common card, but it's not common to me, and I hope to use it to stress that um, you can find a lot of interest in cards that are frequently overlooked. With the Rick Barry card, the first in this set, we talked about the team name, the New York Nets, and I said it's, it's neat. It's a snapshot in history. A lot of the ABA items are. And I said that that team name was only around for a brief period of time. Well, that's topic number one. Here we have the Pittsburgh Condors. I know a lot of Pittsburgh residents would love an M NBA team. Uh, it was always, always discussion about that. But um, yeah, here's a professional basketball team, Pittsburgh Condors. And if you thought the New York Nets name was brief in its existence... Well, th this one, mm, this was tough. So this was actually the premiere of the Pittsburgh Condors name, this 70-71 season. They did exist a little bit before that, the Pittsburgh Pipers. But the Condors, you're looking at 70-71, and then the team folded in June of 1972. So snapshot in history, I mean, really, snapshot not very long that you're going to see the Pittsburgh Condors. Um, I really like this picture. I, I think the Condors logo, the ABA basketball, um, I don't know. Something about it is, is very 1970s to me. Um, then John Brisker. Sometimes there's a lot of intrigue behind the cards. Uh, you really want to look into it. John Brisker disappeared. Uh, in 1978, I my understanding is he called his girlfriend, said he was going to Uganda, and uh, that was the last they ever heard from him. In fact, the State Department, in 1985, they declared him dead just to settle the estate, but the State Department said, we have no concrete evidence that he's dead, uh, so... From an official perspective, you know, that's not how we're treating it. We're still considering him alive. So, I mean, just a really fascinating story to look into. So, that's why I wanted to do this brief video on the second card uh, before I left the set. I hope you enjoyed those little tidbits. I mean, I don't know if enjoy is the right word for someone disappearing like that. But, yeah, it's 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 really just a fascinating piece of information. So if you didn't catch the Rick Barry video, um, you'll learn a lot more about this particular set of cards from that. But I didn't want to overlook this one either, John Brisker. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.